In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your screen using Microsoft Expressions Encoder. First thing you do is find out if you have the program. So go down to your start menu and type in encoder. And you can see there I have both expressions and then expression screen recorder. If you don't have it, just go on to Google and type in download Microsoft Encoder screen recorder. And then click on the first link. It should bring you to Microsoft's website. You can scroll down, click on download and that will automatically download the files you'll need. So once they're done downloading, just click on open and then follow the instructions. Go next, accept the licensing agreement, go next, do the typical install, click on install, and then once it's done installing, go ahead and go back to your start menu and type in expression, and there you can, you can see I have both programs. I'm gonna click on the screen recorder, and it'll pop up this menu, click on the red button to record, and you'll see this red outline around the area that it wants to record. You can adjust that as you see fit, and then hit the red button again, and that will start recording. So right now I'm recording what's on the screen. The green brackets show that I'm recording, and click on the pause button, and then it turns to red saying it's not recording, and then I click on the stop button, and it pulls up this menu saying here are all the programs that I've recorded for my screen, I'm going to go down and send the most recent one to the encoder. That opens up Expressions Encoder, and you'll see this screen. Now you can go over to the Encode button, and it gives you a few choices on what type of output. Since I haven't bought the premium version, I'm using the free version, I can only do the regular file. I can't do the MP4. So then go ahead and click over to the output, and I'm going to choose Desktop. So I'm going to save the output on my desktop, then go File, Encode. That will save the screen capture as a video file, and then I can use the video file. So let's go ahead and close this out. You can see it's saved here on my desktop. There's the video file. It's an MV, I'm sorry, it's a WMV file, which you can use in any video editing software. So now I'm going to go down and open my Movie Maker video software. I'm going to click on Add Video, and then I'm going to insert the video. So that's it. That's all you have to do to record your screen, encode it, and then insert it into a video editing software. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and add a comment down below. And I hope you enjoy doing your screen captures and making your own videos. Thanks.